recently I was reading from Teaching and Addresses by Kimball, and I read something that reminded me a lesson that we have learned here, uh, and that is to do daily work for our homes. And on page 132 of Teaching and Addresses, Kimball says this, There is but one household, that is God's household. There is no avenue or channel by which error can possibly enter this household to create a sense of discord, fear, derision, anger, doubt, subtlety, lack, or straitened circumstances. Nothing can enter this household or consciousness to annoy or destroy, for all here is life and God good fills it. Our home is such an important place. It is. It should be a sanctuary where we pray and study, commune with God. We should have a, a place in our home, a quiet place to do that. We should put it first. And we should know that every part of our home is filled with the pr- power and presence of God. In this way, we are blessed, and certainly anyone that lives in our home is blessed, as well as visitors. I often like to think of the angels, Michael and Gabriel, that Mrs. Eddy speaks about on pages 566 to 567 in Science and Health. She says the characteristic of Michael is spiritual strength. He leads the hosts of heavens against the power of sin, Satan and fights the holy wars. And then Gabriel, who has the more quiet task of imparting a sense of the ever presence of ministering love, and that both these angels deliver us from the depths. Now, what a beautiful thing to to realize and to work with that we can call on these angels. Angels are God's thoughts passing from God to man, Mrs. Eddy says. These angels do fill our homes if we think of it and are aware of it, and we need both, the Michael that fights the wars, that fights the battles, that has that spiritual strength, and then Gabriel that gives us a sense of God's love and of God's presence. And of course, too, as we know that our home is for the purpose of working for God, to do his work better, God will maintain it in his peace and in his love. I read tonight before the meeting something beautiful in Collectania on page 72 where Mrs. Eddy says, Manna must fall from your lips every day to help some mortal mind for time and eternity. That is certainly what we heard at this beautiful meeting tonight.